What's going on, y'all? We are out here today fishing the MBKFA Five Rivers Tournament. This is our last event of the year. As you can tell, I am a little bit under the weather. I have had a rough last 24 hours. But we are out here today and we are going to try to get on some fish. This is a slam format, so we need a redfish, speckled trout, and flounder for this tournament. And uh, if we can place high enough, we're going to be able to go on to fish in the finale at the end of the year, which is next month. So without further ado, let's get out here, see if we can catch some fish. Got him. That's a good one. That's a decent fish, I think. Can't really tell. What do we got? Now he's running. Now he's running. Come on. Be the right fish today. I need to loosen that drag a little bit. Drag's too tight. Come on, he's got some more runs in him. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That could be the fish we need, y'all. I mean, I'm just sitting here in inches of water too, throwing that wake bait. Sun's barely gotten up and we might be moving on. Oh my God, it's a beautiful redfish. What a beautiful redfish. Come here, come here. All right, don't mess this up, Nate. I don't know how well it's hooked. Come here, looking for a perfect 25 and three quarter inch fish. And that's gonna be a good one. Ooh, come on. Uh-uh. That's a thick girl. Please don't be over. Please don't be over. Man, that fish is gonna be over. Yep. Oh, dang it. Well, that's a start though. We are on fish, second redfish. Ain't no way in heck that one's gonna <laughs> make it. That's a 28, 29 incher all day. Oh, dude. If that one could somehow make it, that she's so thick too, man. Such a thick redfish, and she is. What I say, 28, 29? <laughs> yep, 28 and a quarter. Girl, it is your lucky day. You get to swim. I do appreciate that bite though. You let me know that maybe we got the right pattern going on. Bye bye. All right, back to work, y'all. So we do have a falling tide all day. Peak of high tide was about four. Oh, I just threw it right on the back of another one. Give it a couple pops if it comes back for it. Falling tide started around 4, 4.30. And should be falling until about two o'clock today. So got some good tides, good water movement, nice cool water temperatures, water temperature somewhere around 74. If we could get this redfish fast and move on to a trout, we're gonna be in great shape. Got him. Oh! That's a giant. That's a giant. Hit right at the boat. That one might be bigger than the last one. Oh, don't go around that stick. Ah. Oh. All right, danger right there with that pole. Pull them on the right side. Well, they are all over this weight bait this morning. Whew. Come on, be the right size. Be the right size. That's a giant. That's not gonna be a slot red. I mean, this one is this one is pulling me out. And uh, I mean, crazy because we're only in a foot and a half, two foot of water, and my fins are touching the mud. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh man, it's gonna be one of them days. <laughs> Come on, come on. Well, the right size is in here, they're big. I just need to find one just a little bit smaller. Yeah, that one's bigger than the last one. <laughs> Doggone brutes out here this morning. That's a 30 incher. Insane. Uh -uh, don't get the hook in me now. Gotcha. Look at how thick these guys are though, man. Oh my goodness. That right there is what you get in October, y'all. It's when the bull reds start to move in. And they take over these areas. All right, all right, chill out. Bye-bye. Take off. Fun fish. Not what we're after. Let's get back to work. There we go. Mm. Come on. Oh my God, we're in bad shape. Get around the pole, Nate. Uh. Mm. Golly, I had to open my bell. Still got him. Mm, that might be another bull red. Don't be a bull red. We're starting to be able to get his head to turn. That might be a good one. That one might make it, y'all. Come on. Come on. Be a good fish today. That one's gonna make it. All right. Gotta get him in the net, though. We can land this guy. It's going to be our first slot red. Come here. Come here. That might be a good one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I don't think she's quite as fat as the other fish we've caught this morning. But I think she's going to be the right length. Don't go that way. Ah. This fish right here, I'm telling you. Ah, this fish is all over the place. Don't go that way. So I'm away from the kayak. My goodness, so much drama. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get in the net. That's a good fish. Oh, go 26. I think that one might be over too. Oh man, I can't take another one being over slot. Oh man, that's a good red right there. That is a good red. Please. Ah, 27 and three quarters. All right, bye bye. See you, girl. All right, bye bye. Back on the hunt. We're catching them, y'all. We're we're in the right area. I mean, big big fish here, and they're hitting what we're throwing. 
Y'all, these wake baits right here are just absolutely amazing for catching redfish, especially when you're in this marsh system like this. You got all this flooded grass. These redfish are just cruising around in here. And this lure puts off a lot of flash, a lot of rattle, a lot of vibration, and just drives these redfish crazy. I mean, we've, we're have we about an hour into our tournament here. We've hooked four fish, landed three, and I would say those are pretty good numbers. We just got to find the right one. Got them. Be a trout. That looked like a trout. Be a trout. That's a red. See ya. We have now caught five redfish, two undersized redfish, and three overslots. Crazy, which we are in Alabama. Our slot here is from 16 to 26 inches. So that's what we're looking for, 25 and three quarter inch fish. <sighs> Got them. Got them. There we go. That's gonna be a slot red. Can we get on the board? Gotta get him in the net. Come here. Uh -uh. It has been a tough morning finding the right fish. We've had all the bites in the world, just not the right bites. Just as long as I can get this guy in the net, we'll at least have something. Mm -mm. Okay. Chill. Oh, he got some head pumps. He's not even that big of a redfish, I don't believe. Just very feisty. All right, come here. Internet, internet. There we go. All right. Let's go, y'all. Boom. My goodness. We have fished a long time this morning for good legal fish. I think that's a decent one, too. I think that one will be all right. About a 24-incher. Put you on the board real quick, see what we got here. Don't need no mistakes here. Don't need these grips to fall out. What do we got? What do we got? I said 24. We got a 23 and a quarter, y'all. Well, that is a start. This fish is going in the box. All right. All right, so we got our redfish now. We got one of them. I, I still want to try to upgrade that redfish, but I got to move on to trout now. So I'm going to throw the Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is our swamp gold color. I have been tearing the trout and flounder up lately on this swamp gold and hopefully we can pull something out here got him got him what do we got flounder i don't know if this one's gonna be big enough it's gotta be 14 I don't know if this one's gonna go. Uh, ooh. He, ain't gonna, he ain't gonna make it. At this point, I'm looking for a 15 inch trout and a 14 inch flounder. If I can get those two things, I can complete the slam and we'll have something decent to go to the weigh in with. I talked to a couple of guys and it seems like everybody's kind of struggling this morning. So, 
Might have us a shot here. Got him. That might be another flounder. It is. Ah. All right. Just lost us a flounder, y'all. There we go. All right. Well, I think we found us a stool of trout, y'all. Eased up in this little creek right here. Yep. They're stacked up. They're gonna be small micros. We're just hoping we can sort through and find one that's 15. That, that actually might be a 15 incher right there. Whew, that is so close. Hey buddy, you get to go back, you get to go back. That one was really, really, really close to 15. Mm, got him. Come here. All right, can we get 15 out of this trout? I think that one's close, close, close. There's the 15 mark. Yep. Looking like 15 and a half. All right, y'all. Well, that's our legal trout right there, 15 and a half. If I can get this guy in the cooler. All right, so we're fishing this creek right now, just inside the creek mouth, where the creek starts to get a little bit deep, and the wind is trying to shove us in, but the tide is still falling, and it's just creating this ripple effect right here in this creek mouth. And it's just got these trout schooled up right here. So I, I'm, I think we went like six casts in a row getting bites. Landed a couple of them. I also think if I work down this creek enough, I could probably upgrade my flounder. Upgrade, I, well, <laughs> I don't even have a flounder. Catch my flounder and maybe upgrade my redfish. That might be a flounder. Be a flounder. That's a trout. But that might be upgraded on my trout. Yeah, I don't think he's going to upgrade nothing. We certainly don't have the size of the fish that we'd like to have in the box. I will say this. It has not been a bad day of fishing at all. And I do apologize once again to y'all for my voice. But... Being that this is the last tournament of the year, and some of y'all have been following my tournament series here on YouTube, I figured I had to film to kind of show y'all how this thing kind of shapes out. All right, y'all, well, we are out of time. We did not get a legal flounder, so we do not have a slam to weigh in, but we do have 23 and a half inch redfish, 15 and a half inch trout. I've talked to a lot of people. I don't know anybody that has slammed so far. So, yeah, we'll get to weigh in. We'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned, and I will come back to y'all with the results. All right, guys. Well, we are back at the house now. Check it out. We wrapped up the tournament with a third-place redfish finish. Really surprised at that. Y'all, I was super ill out there on the water. I've had a rough uh, couple of days, but... We got it done, um, and and we finished fifth for the year. So the top seven get to go compete in the Trail Series Championship next month. So I'm super pumped to be able to go out there and do that and then film that for y'all. Y'all get to see that next month. So really, really pumped about that. I hope y'all still enjoyed the video, though. If y'all did, leave a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.